I'm Aaron Veal, and today on Interactions with Nature, we're going to study the burrowing owl. Let's, let's take a look at nature. So today we're here with Caitlin from the BC Wildlife Park and we're just going to interview her on Pika, this tiny little burrowing owl. Caitlin, can you elaborate on Pika? Yeah, Pika is a female burrowing owl and she was actually born at the park. Uh, she'll be two in the spring and the reason why she wasn't released is because she's actually considered to be a runt. So she's about 150 grams on a good day. And that's the bottom of their weight range. They can go up to about 240 grams. Also, she has nerve damage on one of her front toes. So because of that, her talon can't actually extend. So if they have any injuries or weight problems, they're not actually allowed to be released into the wild. So she's one of our education birds now. Fantastic. <laughs> um, so we have some questions coming in through email from some viewers. And if you could answer them, is sure. that okay? Yeah. So where can burrowing owls be naturally found? So burrowing owls have a very wide range. So they are a grassland bird of prey. Um, so anywhere that has a hot and dry environment with lots of grass and not a lot of trees, they'll be found. So um, in British Columbia, the Southern Interior, also in Alberta, um, Saskatchewan, and then down into the States and into Mexico. So kind of on the California, Texas side, anywhere it's hot and dry. You can find them. Okay, how long can a burrowing owl live in the wild? So in the wild they can live up to nine years, but that's like the top of their age range. So you're not going to have very many that will go to that age. Um, and in a park like us, they usually live to be 11 to 12 years old. So in captivity it's 11 to 12 yes. years. Yes, perfect. Uh, do they migrate? They do. Um, so even in this area they have to migrate. Um, so they have to migrate all the way down to California and Texas and when we get them back in the spring we actually only get back about 25% of the burrowing owls that we release and that's because since they're so small they have tons of predators so migration is a huge effort on their part to accomplish. <laughs> okay. How long do they live in a single burrow for? Um, they can come back um, a second year, sometimes a third year. Um, I don't actually have like how many years total they'll come back, but they do usually return to the same burrow each year. So oh, that's sick. Uh, do both parents raise the young? They do. Um, so the female obviously is going to be sitting on the eggs to incubate them. So while she is there incubating, the male has to go out and find food to f feed the female. And then um, once the chicks have hatched, then both of them will go and find food and bring it back to feed their chicks. So it's quite the partnership. Yep. Okay, what are their natural predators? Um, a lot of things. So in Kamloops specifically, um, snakes will be a big one. Uh, coyotes, other birds of prey, um, even crows and ravens. Um, also weasels. So we do have lots of weasels in Kamloops. You just don't see them because they camouflage very well. So they have tons of predators. <laughs> What is their natural prey? Uh, their favorite food is going to be grasshoppers. Um, they'll even go after beetles and in some areas like a soy use where they have scorpions, they'll eat scorpions. Um, also, they'll eat mice, so they do have a broad diet. What level of concern are they in British Columbia? In BC right now, they are listed as endangered. Um, so in the 1980s, they were extirpated. So extirpated basically means that they're extinct in one area of the world, but you could still find them in other parts. So now they're listed as endangered. So it's better, but not the best it could be. So as Pika's awake right now, she's not nocturnal. No, not. she's not. She's um, diurnal and crepuscular. So crepuscular is when you're active at dawn and dusk. Diurnal, you're active during the day. So, But she hunts at night? No. No, no. hence at day and is crepuscular, so they're different. Okay. What kinds of human activities puts Pika at risk? Um, because they're a grassland species, farming is the biggest one because that's obviously the best soil. Um, housing developments are huge, so we love to live in river valley bottoms, especially grassland areas. Um, also vehicles, 
Um, ATVing, any backcountry activities that are motorized can be a big deal because burrows can be destroyed, so. Right, okay. What kind of programs does BC currently run to protect their species? Uh, British Columbia has the Burrowing Owl Conservation Society. So they're um, a governing body that basically goes out, they do all the surveying, they help with releasing owls, and then the Wildlife Park, we have the largest breeding centre in Canada. So we um, actually have, I think we have eight breeding pairs, so we breed um, all the time and we release about a hundred owls into the wild every year and when they're released they're a year old and that's just to make it easier on the owl and then there's also a breeding center in Port Kells which is in Surrey as well. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, one last question here from our viewer we have what can people do to help conserve both the burrowing owl and its habitat? For burrowing owls, the main thing is um, to understand how grasslands are important and to also understand that only a small portion of BC is actually grassland habitat. Um, <clears throat> for releasing them, they're released onto private land, so a lot of private landowners help us out by monitoring the owls. Um, if people are driving out in the backcountry and grassland areas, watch for the owls beside the road because they can get hit. By vehicles um, they tend to fly out right from the roadsides and hit vehicles and just simple things like not polluting the environment and you know conserving water and not using chemicals and pesticides on crops well that's fantastic thank you Kate you're welcome back to you Erin Wow thanks Janelle and Kayla for the great interview anyways wait you said Erin where's Erin you know, a better question, where's the burrowing owl? I've been out here for three days, and you know what I've seen? You know what I've seen? What have you seen, Aaron? I've seen a goose. He's seen a goose! I've seen a seagull. A seagull? I've even seen two seagulls. <laughs> and a magpie. <laughs> but no burrowing owl. That's rough. Yeah, that's <laughs> Now we're going over the scientific names. So, the burrowing owl belongs to the kingdom Animalia, for it is an animal. It has a backbone, therefore it's in the phylum Chorodata. It's in the class Aves because it is a bird. The order Strigiforms for owls. The family Strigidae for true owls. Here's the scientific name now. So the genus is Athene. And the species is Cunicularia. The burrowing owl is monogamous, which means it only has one mate. Since they live in the ground, they're called the burrowing owl. They use old burrows as homes. They usually lay eight to or four to twelve eggs. And these eggs take anywhere from one to three weeks to hatch. And once incubated, the males feed the young for about one to three months. And that is all. Thank you for watching Interactions with Nature. I'm Olivia. I'm Janelle. And I'm Aaron. And next time we'll take a look at the yellow belly sapsucker here on Interactions with Nature. Are we done? Well, what's in your backpack? I'll show you what's in my backpack. Okay. Okay, ready for this? <laughs> I'm ready. That's the wrong bucket. I've seen geese. Oh, geese. I've seen robins. You can see a seagull. A seagull? But I have not seen any burrowing owls. We're in beautiful campus, British Columbia. Do you want me to clean it again? Yes. I don't know, do you? It's funny. Because <laughs> your big smile's there, and that's all you see when it clears up. Nathan, I'm so sorry. You guys hear that? Hear what? You died? Oh, coyotes. No, it's not coyotes. They're those I'm little puppies sure it's a again. Coyote. <laughs> the burrowing owl is monogamous, which means it only takes one mate for its life. Usually, they lay four eggs. <laughs> I told you I was wrong. Oh, God. Keep going. <laughs> the burrowing owl is monogamous, which means it only has one mate for life. The burrowing owl lays three to 12 eggs in a clutch. For three to four weeks, they will be incubated. And then, in one to three months, the male will feed them. 
and that is all. So this is actually Aaron's hand sanitizer. The male feeds the eggs for one to three months. I was definitely not. Oh no, another dog. <laughs> <laughs> like... Okay. <laughs> He's gonna like jump off the cliff. <laughs> and that's the last they ever saw him to know. Okay, come on. Ah, stop being so nice to dog. Go! Go, 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 go. Okay. Hey, bud. See, oh, Nathan, Nathan, stop dogs it. Love you. <laughs> okay, guys, for real, we gotta film this.